Justice Ross on the wing. Washington on Powell in the corner. Sissoko from long range, and that one's good. She said earlier that she prefers to play the three, but she can play. Justice Ross working. And Powell lets it fly, and that one's good. Well, it's hard to play uh, defense when they, they're getting points from everyone. Can't leave anyone open at all. Hubbard's going to try from deep in the corner, and she knocks it down. Good response by the Golden Gophers there. Jasmine Powell looking for Strand in the corner. She collects, but super close to stepping out of bounds. Here's Kati Sissoko working on the baseline. Godiva Hubbard from long range, and she's good. She's making her debut. All that Minnesota said is that she was unavailable for the first two games of this season. And it is Smith who picks up the assist on that three-point made from Jasmine Powell. When the ball goes into the post, if you're a guard, you better be ready to catch and shoot it when it comes back out. Great timing. The post wasn't there, but they were posting hard, but the kick out right there, feet behind the line, square. And she is definitely heating up video game-like from that three ball in the corner pocket. Speaking of video game-like, Hubbard all of a sudden. You gotta stay ready so you don't have to get ready. Hubbard right there, oh, she's ready. Season opener. of positionless offense for Northwestern. Four minutes to play here on the quarter clock. Jasmine Powell has yet to take a shot. That's her first shot, and she drills it. Yeah, it's always competitive. I think, you know, when, you, when you're on a team like that, you want to fight for it. Bagwell Catalinich inbounding. Alexia Smith takes over. She's just going to throw it up from deep, and she got it! Wow, Alexia Smith got it from deep to end the quarter. By Smith to end the quarter. Just a hope and a prayer and it's nothing but net, but a one point lead for Minnesota as we enter the second quarter here inside the Back to Minnesota, moving left to right in a scoreless game. Gophers try a three and that one rattles in. I tell you, she, she rebounded down. She came from nowhere to get that and Gave Stapleton a nice look. Here is a Hubbard three from the right, and it's in. There's a missed shot by Katalinich. She got her own shot back. She'll rifle a pass out to Powell. Shot clock's to five. Powell puts on the floor, flips it out. Here's Hubbard, three, long one. It's in. Top of the key by Godiva Hubbard. But they've struggled defensively, giving up 81 points to opponents. The one place they win is on the boards. As Sissoku, long three, it's good. Smith, Sissoko, inside, baseline drive, kick to Scalia, three ball, it's good. Replacing Haggins, here's Godiva Hubbard from the corner, and that one's good. Three point lead for the Gophers. Smith open in the corner. Hubbard sets the screen, Powell, the step back three, knocks it down. right and Powell getting the high screen here she'll take another one why not she's a two for two to start for Powell Powell with the long three-pointer off the bank and in mm -hmm. you might have heard for Minnesota we're at Pinnacle Bank Arena apparently And that individual time for development is so important. Three-pointer knocked down, wide open look from Scalia. And will Nebraska, being in so many close games lately, give them an advantage here? Hubbard with the open look, and the senior knocks it down. A big three-pointer for Minnesota. So they'll turn yep. inbound. But look at the screen by Mershon on the bottom of the zone. And... Uh, 
Well, she's going to have to stay active on the interior. She's 6'2". She's long and lanky. And when they make shots, they can get into their 2-2-1 three-quarter court press. Sarah Scalia settled her feet and knocks down the first shot, and Minnesota takes the one-point edge. Yeah, right here, Scalia about a foot behind the line. And it was a smart choice right there to pass over the second line of their 2-2-1. Two, two, Make it two for two for Sarah Scalia. You have to find her by half court. Head on a swivel, locate early, and this one. But certainly, she would have been overlooked, right, if she didn't give yeah. that award. Yeah, I mean, that was just a phenomenal effort against Ohio State. Obviously didn't cost them there as Scalia got the rebound. She'll take her own three here, and she will make it. Three-pointer by Scalia. That'll give the Golden Gophers the lead. Dion will get a foul there. That'll add to her. That'll be her second personal foul. And Smith will now bring it up the court. Looks She'll like pass it to a wide open Scalia who took a three and drained that one. Three pointer Golden Gophers. Inside the arc. It's really good asset for this offense that they really missed in those first two games. To set a new season high, if not career high, in scoring after scoring 25 this year against Bowling Green. Today she has 16 already with a quarter and a half to play. Scalia deep three, and that's a swish right down the line. Siselko driving, working with the right, that's off the front iron. Scaniers gets the board and that one won't fall. She gets another rebound, puts it up, and that rattles out again. But Scaniers gets another one. And there's Sarah Scalia open on the right wing and she's got it. That's off the back side of the rim. Scaniers picks up the board. Now Siselko's gonna try from the corner and count it. So 5.1 seconds left to go in the first half. Powell takes the inbound, she gets double team. Now we'll go through the double team. Sarah Scalia open on the wing, count it at the buzzer. Great way to end the first half for the Gophers as the Scalia three makes it a six point game. The Gophers ended the half four of their last four. Sisoko looking for an outlet. Just two seconds to go on the shot clock. Jasmine Powell is going to have to let it fly, and she connects. Not sure if she got it off. The officials will take a look at it. Patty's 8-3 of the year, 23 attempts. Midpoint opening quarter. Gophers down big early. Here's a three from the top. Put in by Scalia straight out front. Gophers have it to Soko out front. Leaves it left point for Barabic. Katie Baravich will throw a three high on the left and bury it over Braxton Miller. Into Mershon in her second start this season. See Soko working again from the high post, looking for that wide open shot. It's to Powell who knocks it down. The, the offense goes through her, much like with Powell for the Gophers, it really goes through Terry for the Illini. See Soko will try to line up a three and she answers right back. The lead back up to nine. Into Sissoko, getting a lot of touches. She'll kick it back out. And even with the closeout, Powell knocks it down. Strandy hands it off to Barovic. He's got seven on the shot clock. A very long three, both feet in the logo three for Barovic. Scalia trying to work her way through the high pick and roll. Sissoko draws the defense. Extra pass by Caroline Strandy and the three-pointer good by Sarah Scalia. They weren't going to be exactly themselves for this game but they were really able to show a lot of resilience. Sissoko for three, knocks it down from Minnesota, and a timeout quickly called on the floor. Bagwell Katalinich sets a screen for Alexia Smith, who finds Scalia, and she knocks down the three-pointer, Scalia. Maryland opening up in man-to-man. -man. Smith goes to the left sideline with the dribble, picks the dribble up, passes up top to Powell. Powell launches long distance three and connects. She just does not care, reckless abandon, going after every rebound, everything she can do to try to get to the basketball. Uniform needs a second wash. Strandy fires up a long distance three. Here's Bourne going to work. Sissoko sticks with her, forces her to miss. Hubbard looking straight on, knocks it down for the Gophers. High screen, Sissoko opening it up for Scalia, and that's the second three-pointer for the Gophers. Her 
awareness of floor spacing as the Gophers force a turnover. But you don't often see her look for her own basket like she did on that fast break. Here she gives it up to Hubbard. The three will count. That timeout was called, and here's a look at that shot. This is a great play by Hubbard here, and just crucial also. Getting now see Soko. Kick out, Scalia, one of the best three-point shooters in the Big Ten, and she shows why they're 34% on the year. And not too many whistles. Bagwell Katalinich out to Baravich, who knocks down the three. Tenth made three-pointer in the 13th game now. Seven seconds left on the shot clock. Scalia to Smith, launches the three and hits it. Alexia Smith. Adds to her career high with 11. That's what they're looking for with Sconiers. Turns to her left, shoots to the right. Bagwell Katalinich, another rebound. She's got seven. Baravich drills a deep one.